Let's say the customer wants to add a new printer device. Everything is handled, controlled under the devices, manage devices menu item. Here we can see I have two printer drivers installed. The 1430 has been added at a previous time. We can simply delete the device by clicking on the red X, highlighting the device, clicking red X. And we can add new devices by clicking on the add printer button. So we'll add that 1430 back again. Click on the green plus button gives us the Q setup wizard which was reviewed in a previous uh, video tutorial. I'm going to go down through my list and choose the Artisan 1430. For this reason, I do not have a physical device connected to the computer, so I'll just choose a dummy port. Uh, LPT1 is parallel. And it's installing the printer driver from the FTP site. Next to continue. This particular device is available sheet media only, so I'll choose a letter size just as an example. I will keep the recommended resolution and I won't change the frequency aftones. The queue name will be arbitrary. So Filmmaker expects you to have the device connected and the port set up correctly and that you would then print out your test page and choose your ink density. I do not have a device connected so I'm just going to punch in a value for education reasons, say done. The queue is now configured we could move on and continue printing if I had a device. So now you can see that I have two queues available. This is multiple queue setups. You can have as many of these tabs as you want. Jobs for the Epson 4900 separations would be in one queue. And let me just add some jobs here to clarify that. I could add a job in here to the Epson 4900 separations. And I could print it rotated 90 degrees. When I flip over to the Epson 1430, I can quickly add a test page and you can lay things out as you want on the queue. So you have one queue for one purpose, different queue for a different purpose. So the, in the simplest concept, queues will support multiple devices. You could have as many physical devices as what your computer could technically support.